Today's show brought to you in part by GoToMeeting. For a free 30-day trial, use code podcast at gotomeeting.com. Strange roadside attractions? There's an app for that. Hey everyone, it's Courtney Wallen here at RVNN TV. This is Travel App of the Day. Uh, pretty excited about today's app. I don't have anything real visual for you. However, I think it speaks for itself. It's uh, the Roadside America app. And uh, lots of good stuff going on with that because you can discover all these really interesting, strange landmarks. And if you're just in, in general familiar with RoadsideAmerica.com, you'll know what I'm talking about. They've got an app. You may have it. If you do, I'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, this is an app just for the iPhone, and they actually have it available now for the iPad version is now out. Um, it's two ninety nine. So just a word to the to the, to you is that it's two ninety nine, and you get one region access with that two ninety nine purchase. You can upgrade for five ninety nine to get all of the regions, or you can do an a la carte for a dollar ninety nine for each region um, in Canada and the U.S. So. If you're just going to a specific re uh, region and you want to check out things, the two ninety nine is for you. But if you know you're going to be traveling all over the place, uh, I would invest in the five ninety nine. So with this app, lots of good stuff's going to go on. You are going to find all the strange, weird, wacky things that are going to be on the side, <laughs> and the things that you wish you would have known where they were at. This is going to help you out. Um, they've got near me, a near me function of this app, so you can find out what's just down the road. Uh, so. You know, if you want to see odd monuments or whatever it may be, you can check this out and it's going to get your map, uh, driving directions, all the good stuff that you're going to need, the hours of operation, phone numbers, and you can actually tap right on the phone number right from the app. So that's really good. Uh, you can also share this. This is uh, connects to your Facebook and your Twitter account. And uh, that's just always fun to share with everyone else. You can actually take pictures right from the app as well. So you can remember these. Uh, special road trip tools. Uh, they've got Sunset Alert, which is pretty funny. It's for timing the end-of-the-day photo ops. Um, so you can set an alarm to let you know that it's the sun is going down, I guess. Um, and then the other one that also kind of cracks me up, it's called Tourist Interrupts. And it's a phone call intervention that may save you from spending too much time at any one place. Those just were kind of funny to me. Uh, you, like I said, you've got all these different regions. You've got the Northeast, the Southeast, the Midwest, the Southwest, the Northwest, California, including Hawaii and Alaska. Or Canada. So if you want to purchase more of those regions, like I said, you can do $5.99 for all of them or $1.99 a la carte to the $2.99 base app purchase. Um, they've got lots of great features. You can do a bend there and you can click on things like that. Take the picture pictures. You can call the attractions, like I said, just right from the app itself. Um, you can save directions um, to those places for offline use. So if you know you're going to be in an area that you may not be able to use your 3 or 4G network, uh, this is a gr good opportunity to do so. Um, there's also editor's ratings to see how the places stack up. Uh, you can stay you know, current with all the info and, and uh, view the attraction images from other people that have been there. So they're saying 25 years of research, research and the latest eyewitness reports. Uh, this is all from Roadside America. And like I said, it is just for iOS. Uh, they have it for the iPhone. And here is actually some screenshots of it. And so here we go. We've got what's close. They got Cupid Span, uh, the Gothic rocket ship, the Muni bus, uh, invention, the slot machine, everything that's near you. And then you go through here and um, you can mark pins or that it shows you what's in the area. And then here it is with all the information, all the attractions, so on and so forth. So really easy in your face. Um, you know, like I said, I, I typically like to feature apps that are free or close to free, but I think this is something fun because how many times do you pass a place where you thought that's where the world's biggest ball of twine was and we didn't know? Uh, this app will save you from that heartache. Don't be left alone without seeing that big ball of whatever, gum the weird things that are out there. So we've done a show on weird roadside attractions and there's some weird stuff out there, folks. You don't want to miss it. So uh, roadsideamerica.com, check them out. I've got the link for the app um, in our show notes and uh, just check it out. So if you've got iPad, it's now available for that as well. So no show would be complete without our 30 seconds of shameless plugging. Be sure to check us out, Travel App and all of the other great shows here at RVNN. 
are on our Boxy app. Be sure to subscribe to that. Of course, the RVNN Daily comes out every single Friday. And uh, today happens to be Friday, so go check it out. We've got great social media contributors on that. Of course, of course uh, RVNN is on Google+, Plus, uh, Pinterest. Each one of our shows actually has a board on our account. We're on Facebook and Twitter as well. And last but not least, we're on the Roku. We have changed from the Outdoors and Fitness section. We are now in the travel category. So be sure to subscribe, tell a friend, and give us a rating. We greatly appreciate your feedback. Of course, Travel App of the Day is on every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So be sure to check it out. A lot of great apps have been featured in the past and will be in the future. But today's was Roadside America. Be sure to check it out. And I would... I would recommend just going for the $5.99. Get all the regions because you don't want to miss any strange thing that's out there. I'll be back on Monday. Have a great weekend, everyone.